Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Team Plasma N, as well as Zekrom, and found out that the real villain behind Team Plasma was Getsis all along. As you can see, Getsis is ready to battle us, so now it's our time. We're going in with our team of six, and it's time to take on Getsis once and for all. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you lost all hope. Rodri! I won't allow anyone to stop me, no matter who does what. Here we go, Rodri versus Getsis. It is time for us to take on the worst guy out there. We are challenged by Team Plasma Getsis, the real evil behind Team Plasma. Ooh, Getsis is gonna send out Kappa Grigus. As you know, we have Roaring up in front, and it doesn't really allow us to switch a whole lot. But I do have a couple things in mind that I believe are going to help us quite a bit through this battle. Let me go for the Surf first of all. Just I just want to see how much damage this Kafka Grigus is going to do on us. I don't know if it'll do a whole lot. But I have a couple strategies in mind from all the tips you guys gave me. Alright, so that did quite a bit actually. Uh, Kafka Grigus is going to use Shadow Ball on us. That shouldn't do too much. I was expecting exactly that kind of move. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out right now. And I'm going to switch out into Darunia. I feel like Darunia will be a better matchup against this Kafka Grigas. It is level 52. Uh, Darunia and Roran are pretty much our strongest Pokemon going into this battle, which makes me a little teensy bitsy nervous. All right, here we go. Oh, we were poisoned. That That is not good for us. But you know what? We can handle it. If you guys remember, we have Belly Drum, and that is what I'm going to be using. Kafka Grigas used the Protect, which is really good for us, because that means I'm going to be able to get off the Belly Drum successfully, and then hopefully go on a sweep of this team. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm really hoping that I will be. Okay, the, the Toxic isn't really helping us, though. I'm going to go right away. We're going to go for the Fire Punch. I'm pretty sure it'll take down this Kafka Grigas. You know, it's a too bad that we're poisoned. But I'm sure we'll be able to do some work uh, nonetheless. Okay, so here we go, guys. Kafka Grigus is down, and that is Getsis' first Pokemon. This battle is on its way. I'm actually really nervous for it because I know it only gets tougher from here. Okay, Bofalant is going to come out next. I'm not going to switch Pokemon. Ooh, I'm actually getting pretty nervous, though, because we need Roran uh, to stay healthy, but we're also going to need Darunia to stay healthy. Uh, I'm just going to go... Straight for the brick break. I'll go for the brick break. So here we go. We're going for the brick break. Brackety, 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 brackety. And let's see if it'll take down the Buffalant. Yes, it did. Okay, great. So that's two Pokemon that the Belly Drum has worked for. And let's just hope Darunia can hold off a little bit longer. Come on. Tell me the Toxic isn't going to kill you, buddy. And there we go. The poison has taken us, uh, which is not too great for us. Who should I switch into? I'm going to go ahead and switch into Shades. I don't know what's coming. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to handle it here. All right, Shades, do your thing. Seismitoad is coming out. I'm pretty sure Seismitoad is water. Uh, so that wasn't a good call on our part. I am going to go ahead and switch out the Zappy then. And hope that Zappy will be able to take down the Seismitoad. I'm pretty nervous for this. It seems like Getsis has a really strong team. And I just really hope that we can do it. Okay, so Seismitoad went for the Rain Dance. That's actually pretty good for us because it means Roarin will be able to use uh, some much better moves. Let's go for the Thunderbolt then. You would think that, oh my gosh, Seismitoad isn't affected by Thunderbolt. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that whatsoever. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch and it doesn't affect it either. Great. This guy isn't affected by electric type moves and Zappy is down. Wow, okay, so plot twist. Fernia is going to have to come out then. And uh, let's go ahead and do this, Fernia, because that didn't go in our favor. Did not expect that to happen. Let's go for the Dragon Claw. We should be faster than the Seismitoad. It's a pretty big dude, so we'll see how much damage this does. Come on, come on, a little more than half. Perfect. Oh, Earthquake's probably going to KO us. I'm guessing it's probably going to KO us. That. Oh, no, it didn't. All right, let's go for one more Dragon Claw. That's going to take down the Seismitoad. Thank goodness. I just, I don't know. I didn't realize that this guy was not affected by electric type moves. So that didn't help at all. All right, Shades grew to level 51. The rain has stopped. And High Dragon is coming out. Now, this is the Pokemon that you guys have warned me about the most. You told me that this is the most dangerous Pokemon that we will have to go up against. So I'm going to send out Roran. And now it is time to take on Getz's strongest Pokemon. Oh, man. Here we go. Getz is going to send out Hydreigon, and it is level 54. 
I'm gonna go for the Blizzard. I expect High Dragon, of course, to use a Dragon move, which most likely will KO us. I don't think we have enough health to survive it at this point. No, we don't. We are gonna have to max revive Roran because that's the only way we're gonna be able to take down this High Dragon. All right, Fernia, you're gonna have to come out and tank a little bit so I can max revive Roran up because if not, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Let me go ahead and find it. Thank goodness I have about three max revives left. I'm sure Roran will be able to put some damage on here on this High Dragon. You know, I didn't really count on Darunia fainting, and I was hoping that Darunia would pretty much be able to take on the High Dragon uh, with the Belly Drum, but I guess it didn't work out that way. So now we keep on going, and next up, it is Roran again. Oh, come on, Roran. We need you to land the Blizzard. That is what's making me nervous right now. We need Roran to land the Blizzard, and we need to tank out a Dragon Pulse. Come on, you can tank out a Dragon Pulse, please. Tank it out, perfect. All right, let's go for the Blizzard then, and let's hope that it does a lot of damage on this High Dragon, because if it doesn't, then we are in for trouble. And it looks like we are in for trouble. I am gonna have to use a Hyper Potion on us, because we won't be able to survive one more Dragon Pulse, which is uh, pretty bad news for us. Uh, oh, wow, okay, High Dragon went for a Focus Blast and missed. If we can land this Blizzard, we can almost assure that this High Dragon will be down. It went for the Pulse, Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, please use it. There we go. Roaring use Blizzard. That should take down High Dragon, which is Getz's strongest Pokemon. There we have it, guys. Great job to you, Roran. Thank goodness for you doing that. We gained a bunch of XP. And, of course, it is our starter who would take down the strongest Pokemon we have faced at this time. All right, Electros is out. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. We're going to bring out Shades. I'm pretty sure Electros, Electric-type Pokemon. Uh, so we're going to see if we can actually uh, get, get a little couple punches in on it. Uh, here we go. All right, Getz sends out Electros. What level is it? It's level 52. Let me go, oh, I don't know if Diggle will affect it. I am going to go for the Brick Break just to see how much damage it'll do on it. Hopefully it does a good amount. Uh, I'm sure it'll be able to. At least we're ground type, so, oh, wow, that did absolutely nothing. That barely even scratched it. All right, let's try Crunch. Maybe Crunch will be, do some damage to this thing. This thing is a tank. Uh, wow. Oh, there we go. All right, so that, that was the move that did it. It was Crunch. Crunch is a lot stronger on this Electros. All right, Shades. Once and for all, oh, mother fudge! Gets us used a full restore. No! Why? Why did you have to use a full restore, Gets this? Alright, I'm going for another crunch then. And that should take down this uh Electros. And there we have it, guys. Electros is down, and it comes down to Gets this final Pokemon. Here we have it, guys. A Bisharp is coming out. I'm going to have to keep out Shades, and let's just hope that I can uh, get, a, get a KO here. I'm going to go for the Dig, and uh, we don't know how strong Bisharp will be. It makes me a little bit nervous because it looks pretty dang cool. But here we go. Let's use the Dig. I'm thinking it'll do a good amount of damage. I'm hoping it does. It did a ton. Super effective. We hit a crit. Bisharp is down, and with that, we have defeated the last of Getz's Pokemon. We have done it, guys. We defeated Team Plasma Getz's. My calculations, no, my careful schemes, the world should be mine. We got 9720 for winning. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I am the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. Now, N, do you still think Pokemon people should be separated? Mwahaha! <laughs> Since I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. And he's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think you're going to get through a war person like that? Alder, it's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He is the one without a human heart. You're right. He's truly pitiful. And I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing ideals because of Getz's manipulation, but because your heart was really inspired. That is why you were able to meet the legendary Pokemon. But, I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important, wouldn't you say? Acting like you understand, up till now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs, yet despite that, why? And, even if we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought.
I want to talk to you about something. It's about when I first met you in Accumula Town. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you, hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon, no, actually, I didn't understand them either. No way could I measure up to you when you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me and what I should do now is something I'll have to decide for myself. Rodri. You said you have a dream. That dream, make it come true. Make your wonderful dream a reality and it will become your truth. Rodri, if anyone can, it's you. Well then, farewell. With that, we say our farewells to N, but our journey isn't over yet. We have not taken on the real champion of the Unova region yet, Alder, and that day will come, my friends. In the next episode, we will continue on back in Unova, catching more Pokemon, finding what more adventures we can get ourselves into, and finishing up the post game. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.